Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rain Builds. Today we're at Riverside Roost in Courtyard Lane at Willow Creek. I thought that this was a duplex because of the two front doors, but it turns out this is just a single family home with two front doors. And again, this is another Crick Cabana wannabe with an addition on top. So yes, I got rid of it and I built my own house. However, I fell in love with the lot. I think the lot is adorable and it's in a great spot. It has that uh, ravine in the backyard and along the side of the house. So I ended up giving him a wraparound porch so that he could enjoy it. This is the fifth time that I've tried to record and now I'm having problems with audacity. It's cutting out at seven minutes. It's just stop recording at seven minutes and I cannot figure out. I've pressed every button. I've looked at every single thing on here and I cannot figure out where the difference came in, why there's a sudden change. I, I don't know what happened, but I'm doing everything I normally do and it's just stop recording at seven minutes. So hopefully it'll work this time. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to begin this with a touchy topic, but this all occurred to me last week, happened to me last week, two horrendous things happened last week. So I'm, I'm just going to talk about them. I'm going to try not to do the soapbox thing. Hopefully I'll catch myself each time I go off the rails. But anyway, the first one is uh, Origin and EA. Uh, last week, I went in to The Sims 4 to do my next speed build, and Origin said I had to download a Legacy Edition, and I said, whatever, go ahead. I just figured it was another update. But I'm like, that is a weird name for an update. I had no idea what they were talking about. I just let them do it. And then I went into the game and I did my speed build, which is this one here, and I left. But the next day I went back to do the house across the street and I noticed some things, some very bad things. There was no option for me to go into the gallery anymore and there was absolutely no way for me to buy any more of their packs. Can you imagine? I was not permitted to buy any more of their packs. And why I can't use the gallery anymore is beyond me. What, 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 what did I do? What did I do to upset you guys? And then when I went online to try and find out what was going on, there was very little information. The only thing I found at the start was way back in March, EA said, hey, we're going to be doing this legacy thing. And as of a certain date, um, we're not going to be taking care of anybody who's using an old computer. And they meant Max, but they also meant anybody using a 32-bit PC. And I kept looking at it like, but that's not me. I'm using a 64-bit. I'm using Windows 10 64-bit. Why am I included in this? But as the days went on, the forum started to come to light. Apparently more people were getting affected by it, so they started talking to the forum. And again, a majority of these people used a Mac. I don't use a Mac. I use a PC. But I finally figured out that that was the case. They just said, we're not going to handle you guys anymore. If you're poor and you can't afford an updated, spipped out computer, we don't want anything to do with you. And I'm not exaggerating. That's exactly what it says. That's exactly what they're getting at. And it all boiled down to that stupid university pack. There's no way your computer can handle this pack. So go fly a kite. And by the way, EA, I was not the slightest bit interested in your stupid university pack. I'm an old lady, and I will guarantee you there are a lot of old ladies who play this game. And they're not interested in the university pack either. But for a company to single 
out someone who is poor is ju it's just wrong I don't care what anybody says that is wrong and I was upset so I deleted the game I said screw you too if you're gonna treat me like this I don't want anything to do with you but then I went back into those forms because I had received a message from someone and he said if your computer is Windows 10 64 bit then you don't you should you don't need the legacy pack just go back into origin and force them to recognize 64 bit and I thought okay I will try that because it dawned on me at that point when I had originally installed the game it said your computer can't really alright before I even say any more the problem isn't 64 bit it's that I only have four gigabytes of RAM and that's pushing it for this game the game will play but you know not as great as someone who has 8 or 16 or a, whatever that new trillabyte or whatever it's called but it will play so I had told Origin well then fine use 32 bit I whatever you know but now the whatever became an issue so I went back in I forced the 64-bit issue it said the same thing your game's not gonna run well if you do and I'm like tough crap this is what I'm asking for you this is what you're gonna give me and do you know I also had every single pack installed seasons get together get to work and then the minor ones uh, movie night glamour patio stuff I think there's two more and I can never remember the names of them but whatever I had them all included in this install I went into the game I created somebody in CAS I went to all of the worlds I bought things I set them up and the game ran just the way it always does no difference none at all now it might not look great I have always kept my settings at medium and low and I don't care that there are no shadows I think personally those shadows are creepy and I don't want them in my game so maybe my game doesn't look great to you guys and that might be an issue maybe you think it looks like crap and I apologize for that but this is how I've always seen The Sims 4 so it doesn't look any different to me no different at all it runs the same I do, it doesn't crash it doesn't freeze up I imagine if I stuffed every single person I created in CAS into a house and I built up those houses and I tried to play them all I might run into some issues but I don't play the game that way so it's probably never going to be an issue with me I'm just still really disappointed that they're, they weren't even going to allow me to buy any more of their stuff because I'm poor. It just that no, I, it's, I'm sorry. That is just it. Just seems so wrong for a company. I don't, I don't know. I'm probably just being sour grapes here. I'm sure it's tough being poor. I'll tell you that much. But I. I never expected well I guess I shouldn't say that because that zoo planet game is a prime example I'll never be able to play that and I understand that that's you know I'm something I have to live with I'm not going to yell at the planet zoo people for creating a game I can't enjoy but this is an established game it came out in 2015 I bought it in 2017 and I've been adding to it since and they're just gonna throw me off the bus and say you know make your own way home now we don't we don't we don't want you with us anymore there's something wrong with that but so now I don't know what I'm gonna do going forward apparently there's a Sims 5 coming out and I just don't know how I feel about it so yeah I am hurt by it they did hurt my feelings and I probably sound like a whiny baby like I said I, yeah sour grapes okay whatever but it didn't happen to you it happened to me <laughs> so you don't know how I feel but I don't want to go into that I don't want to do that so 
I hope this is working this time. I'm looking at the line. Everything's still going. It's still running. I hope that worked. I got a little blip there. I don't know what that means. We'll see. We will see what happens. But anyway, the second bit of wonderful news had to do with COPPA, C-O-P-P-A. And this is a recent development within YouTube, the YouTube community. Um, and it has everything to do with the United States and the FTC. And back in September, the YouTube ended up having to pay this massive, in the billions, I believe, fine, because some active group, activist group, whatever, I don't know the what the acronym stands for, but children are involved. And they made a big deal out of YouTube showing ads to children. And I, it, it, none of this makes sense, so I'm not going to go in too much detail. None of it makes sense because there's, first of all, there's a YouTube Kids. And by the way, there are ads on YouTube Kids. And those ads are geared toward children. But apparently this has something to do with adults allowing their precious darlings to use their adult YouTube account to watch YouTube content that has ads on it. Somehow this is our fault. Not the parents who allow this, but our fault. Because, you know, parents are never going to be accountable. They're never going to be held accountable for anything that goes wrong. It's always going to be somebody else's fault, and somebody else has to pay for it. Well, this is one of those instances. As of January 1st, 2020, any content creator who has even an inkling of child content on their channel is going to be fined. $42,000 per video, $42,000 per video, if they do not claim that their channel is geared toward children. And if they do say, yeah, my channel is, I, I make my videos for kids, they're going to lose 90% of their um, ad revenue. Now, you tell me where this makes any sense, but that's the gist of it. If you click the button saying, yes, I am making videos for children, YouTube is going to take away 90% of your ad revenue. If you are not making content geared toward children, and you say you are not making content geared toward children, but the FTC deems your content child created, you will pay a $42,000 fine for every single video they say is geared toward children. And then their, their guidelines, colorful images, quirky music, saying duh or whatever, and having child stars or mentioning child stars in your videos, and um, toys any type of toy or any type of toy character which goes to the gaming side of things. So if you're not ninja and you're playing a video game online, the FTC is going to say you're making this video, it's geared toward children. And you didn't say it was geared toward children. Even though your audience, the mean age of your audience is 35 and male, we don't care about that. You're playing a kiddie game. All games, by the way, according to the government, are child-oriented. All games. When, and again, that doesn't surprise me because Full Metal Gear and all them shoot 'em up blood, you know, th those are probably geared to our children. I that wouldn't surprise me in the least. But, of course, again, it isn't the parents who let their children play these games. It isn't the parents who let their children watch these videos. It isn't the parents who let their children cuss and laugh at this stuff and watch it nonstop at home, by the way, because I teach in several districts here 
and YouTube is not allowed in the school. You can't have a cell phone in school. So where are they watching these videos except at home on their parents' account? And don't tell me the parents don't give a damn because I know for a fact that they don't. They've said it right to my face. They think it's funny. Everything's funny. If a, a two-year-old child cussing on a video is hilarious to them, they think that's funny. And there's no consequence for it. Well, excuse me, the only consequence is us having to pay for it. And it's ridiculous. It's a load of crap and it's very upsetting. Because here's the thing. My daughter watches um, hobby channels. She is into doll making. And these kids have extremely colorful backgrounds. They have doll heads, doll bodies, doll clothing, lots of paints. But they are doing things so intricate that there is no way a child could even attempt to make these creations. It is impossible. But the FTC will see, based on their guidelines, that this girl has colorful image in the background. And yeah, she's using quirky music when she's not talking. Oh, well, she, she, she has this, this video is geared toward children. So she's going to lose her livelihood as a result. Why? I need to know why. Sorry, the neighbor's dog is out. It's going to bark at the door for 10 minutes until they let him in. But I have had so much trouble with this recording. I am not going to stop. I just hope it is recording. I'm up to 17 minutes here, and it should still be recording. <clears throat> I do not want to go into Copa rage. I don't want to do it, but it was very upsetting. And I hope, I'm hoping that something changes between now and January 1st. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Uh, it's an, an attorney who is talking on the subject, and he was very knowledgeable and detailed, but he was speaking in a way that you and I would understand. Also, he will link in his video where you can go to tell the FTC what you think about this and everybody's asking you to be polite because it's a government entity so you don't want to go in there raving like a lunatic the way I did on this video it, it's not going to help the case but more people really need to know what's going on and that it has to be stopped somebody has to stop these people and save them from themselves because it's gone on far too long and it just needs to stop. We are not responsible for your stupid children. We are not responsible for your ignorance. That's just not how it goes. And they need to know that. They need to wake up and realize that they created a life and it's their responsibility, nobody else's. This is a long video. <laughs> I got so long to go and I don't have anything to say. Maybe I should put some music in the back. I wasn't thinking of doing that. But like I said, I was hoping, well, no, I probably said that in a subsequent recording that got trashed. But Audacity is still going. I'm at almost 19 minutes now. And Audacity is still running, still recording. I don't know what's happening here. I hope it works this time. I'm getting really, really tired of this. Every single time, there's always something that I have to deal with. It drives me nuts. I, I, seriously, I, somebody does not want me to do this. That's all I can say because, ironically, back in 2017 was when I created my first, actually my second channel. And all it was, a, it was um, four romance readers romance authors and romance writers that was all it was about it was about books and I talked about the books and I would read portions of the book and I would yeah you know, that was it and a couple weeks in I get a le an email from YouTube saying um, you're irrelevant you mean nothing to us and so we're cutting off your AdSense and unless you can get a thousand subscribers and 40,000 likes on one video within one year, 
we don't want anything to do with you so bye bye and I said well okay bye bye and I deleted the channel got rid of all my videos and I said screw you too bye and I walked away <laughs> 2019 I decide to try again to create a YouTube channel and what happens within weeks of me creating this channel Copa it, <laughs> Am I the jinx? I, I have to ask. Is it me? Because a majority of my life is like this. No matter what I put my hands on, it gets destroyed. And I feel guilty and responsible. Sad at the same time. I, I, oh my gosh. It's not like I'm trying to take over the world. I, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying desperately to make a little extra income. I have a little tiny bit of security going forward. And I keep getting smacked in the face for it, and it's so frustrating. Yeah, I know. I sound like a crybaby. I don't care at this point, okay? I really don't care. It's annoying. And now I have to put up with this technical crap. All the previous videos, everything worked out just fine. I made the video, I made the recording, I plunked the recording down, it fit perfectly with the video, and I moved on. Now, I put the recording in with the video and it disappears at seven minutes. Why? What happened between the last video and this one that would make that happen? I need to stop. <laughs> I said I wouldn't go on a rant, and I did. I'm so upset. I'm frustrated. All of this comes at once. What do, you, what do you want me to do? I can't just let it go. I've never been the type of person who can let it go. I dwell on things, and I know I shouldn't, but it's upsetting. But I, I don't know if you noticed in this particular video, it's, it's not only raining outside, but I have the extra um, items that I can play with because I opened up all of my packs because I got tired of complaining about having so little to use in these recordings so I opened up seasons and I don't particularly care for unless I'm really doing a family playthrough then I don't mind having the seasons but for this kind of stuff it's just annoying it is so dark you can barely see I actually had to turn on night to see where the lights were needed and it's supposed to be summer the last day of summer I think but it was cold and rainy I don't know whatever but I don't know how you guys do the seasons but I when I first played it it was set at seven days for each season and I was having real difficulty with plants I didn't like that at all. That was annoying. It's like, I just I just want the plants, but they wouldn't grow. They wouldn't come up, and then all of a sudden there's snow on the ground, and then everything's spring, and those plants that were in the winter are, are forget it. It's not their season anymore, and it, oh, my gosh. Then I figured out that you could make a greenhouse or put them in the basement, or and then they would just grow normal because they had shelter. That took me a while, though, so... I'm not a big fan of the seasons. But I tried the 14 day. I've never gone to the what what is what comes after 14? 28 days each? I don't know. But they're getting struck by lightning is hilarious. That I like. I think that's funny. And I in person love a good summer storm. We haven't had any in a couple years here, but I love summer storms, so that aspect of the seasons, it was kind of cool. I don't mind that. Oh, I feel like I'm just spinning my wheels here. I hope it works this time. Good heavens. Can you imagine going to all this trouble and doing all this, and then I'm just spinning my wheels? It's not working. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to give up. Oh, Lord, I don't know. I just don't know anything anymore. 
<sighs> it's like I want to give up, but then I end up trudging on through anyway. <laughs> it's like, why not just give up? Just stop. Just give up. And it sounds like such a good idea, but I end up not doing it. I go, no, I'm going to soldier forward because something's bound to change. Mm -hmm. Nothing changes, okay? Take it from me. Nothing changes, no matter how hard you try. Nothing changes. I gave him kind of nice landscaping because, like I said, I, I was just floored by this. I don't know what it is. I just like this lot. I can't stand that they're living next door to the pancakes, but I like the lot. A lot. <laughs> I don't think this is working, honestly. I really don't. Them green bars are going crazy. The blue bars are showing up. And it's uh, 25 minutes, so I'm coming to the end of this video, and I'm looking right at Audacity's screen, and it's going. What happens when I plunk it down in the video? I don't know. Listen, if it does screw up again, I'm just going to fill in the rest of the video with music, and I will apologize for that right now. I am sorry, okay? I'll figure something out for the next video, hopefully. I don't know. But coming up on the end here, this is my landscaping. Um, gee, there wasn't too much to say. Because I gave him a brand new house. Oh, well, in the next one, I think, in the house across the street, I can't remember the name of it, I had gotten that done before the debacle occurred with EA. I think I just went through that house and redecorated. It's a lot like the pancake house. I've never been in it. I was never in it until that day. And it's a lot like the pancake house. So I just kind of did some redecorating. I left it pretty much the way it is. So that should be a really short video. Maybe I won't even need that much audio to go with it. I don't know. I just hope this works. Ugh, I don't know. How boring, huh? I went from ranting and raving about <laughs> two big problems and I don't know what to talk about. Hmm. Whatever. Oh, and I also figured in a subsequent video I would talk about what I don't, you know, things that I don't like about the game. Maybe like each specific topic, but I always run out of ideas before the video ends anyway, so you never know what I'm going to talk about. Who knows? Does it even matter? Yeah, this is where I had to check where I needed lights. <laughs> Oh, and I don't remember this guy's name at all because he vanished in the delete. I don't remember his name. He was just a bachelor. It was no big deal. I wasn't going to play him anyway. So, I don't know. I hope this is working. Please tell me this is working. See, that showed up. I said please, and it went wee on the screen. I don't know why it wouldn't, but... I think we're coming up on the end here. No, I just got to put the chimney in and then it'll show the pictures. Do you guys do chimneys? I tend to do chimneys. I like, I mean the EA chimney. I built one of my own and then I added one of theirs. I like doing that. I don't think it looks dumb. All right, after. This is the porch looking out on the side of the house. This is the front. Only one door because you only need one door. That's the half bath. Eh, I didn't think it was too bad. I like the colors. They're neutrals for a guy. I figured it's okay. That's the stairs going up. I didn't give him a living room, but I did give him that bar. So if he wants to entertain, he's got some seating there. There's two chairs around the fireplace if he wants to read something. And then off this kitchen, that room there, that's his office TV area. It's the second floor where he would really be able to entertain well. I gave him like a kind of a game roomish type thing. But I don't know. I don't know. But again, if this audio cuts out, I apologize. I'm going to end it at this point and I'll just put some music in for the rest of the video, okay? Do not shoot me. I will never do it again. It's just that I have to move on. I started this at 10 o'clock in the morning. It is now 2 30 in the afternoon. I have to move on. My apologies. 
but I do appreciate the fact that you came here and looked at this video. I, I really appreciate that, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you liked what you saw, and I do hope you come back for more. I really do. I appreciate it. I know they're not the greatest, but I'm trying. Hopefully, I'm improving. I don't know. Maybe I'm staying the same. Who knows? But as always, I do appreciate that you watched this. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.